Hello and welcome to this uh, Blitz uh, video tutorial on uh, ASCP planning uh, management by exception. Uh, I'm just going to uh, walk you through some uh, productivity uh, efficiency type uh, reporting tools uh, that you can run from the Planner Workbench uh, using Blitz Report, uh, which is um, you know a way of uh, enhancing uh, your experience through our Oracle. Uh, in this particular case, I've configured a number of reports to run from the Planner Workbench uh, around exceptions, uh, pegging, uh, and uh, just uh, basically supply and demand export. Uh, so let's just walk you through the standard process, uh, which is to create uh, an exception query. Uh, and I've created one here, which we can have a look at. Uh, which is literally I'll pick two exceptions, past due sales and late replenishment. Uh, now, if I was to execute this, uh, it would come up with uh, a number of exceptions, which we can select, multi-select, and then we can right click uh, to export using the standard uh, Oracle export tools. Um, now, this is particularly uh, slow, uh, frustrating, uh, you know, especially if you have a lot of exceptions. Uh, to get through. Um, so as a trainer for uh, advanced planning, uh, I frequently get asked this question, uh, you know, is there a, a standard report? Well, generally there's not. What you have to do is you have to export uh, and go through this process of, uh, you know, can be quite time consuming depending on how many records there are. Uh, and generally there will be quite a few. Um, so, you know, in this particular case, we've only got a handful. Um, but that's that's the standard process, um, and you know, as I mentioned, if there are literally hundreds, then uh, you can be here waiting at the hourglass while it exports. Um, so I'm just going to show you another way. Um, here, what I've done is um, I've created a, a menu option. In this particular case, it's uh, called export pegging, and in that menu option, we've got uh, a number of blitz reports. So we've got exceptions. Uh, the full export for supply and demand, uh, and indeed the pegging. So let, let's look at the exception report. Um, this is one that I've created uh, using the uh, exceptions table. So if we go and have a look at it, uh, it's relatively straightforward. You're selecting the exception text, uh, the, the product, uh, the item description, the planner. So it's, it's, it is, whilst it is SQL, it's not, it's not that uh, complicated to do. And this is selecting from a view called the exception details together with the plan. Um, this particular script probably took me about 15 minutes. Uh, we will register this with the Blitz report uh, anyway, so it will come with the Blitz report. Uh, and then I added some parameters. Um, I added uh, the exception, uh, so we've got the ability to, accept, um, to select the exception. Uh, the planner, obviously, things that you'd like to add, um, and they're very simple to add. So, for example, if you just want to add <clears throat> here, look, you just type plan, and then you can select from previous uh, reports. So you haven't got to set them up. You'd, you would just basically s create that. Now, that this is the role of a developer anyway. Um, now, a developer could be uh, someone who's like a business analytical person or a key user. Um, and you would be able to create these reports yourselves. That there, there are a number that are already seeded with the with the product anyway. Uh, then you can assign it to which responsibility or which user. Uh, you've got the standard uh, way of including, excluding uh, users and people um, that, that you would have, um, or responsibilities or operating units. And then for sorting, we can categorize uh, as well, um, and like I said, so we've got parameters, assignments, categories, uh, and then <clears throat> as as a developer during tests, you would run it. You see you've got version control up here, uh, which is very handy. Um, and all these parameters are then available to select. So in this particular case, we, we have uh, late uh, late replenishment for, for sales. But I'm, I'm going to show you that you have the ability to do multi-select. So it, in planner workbench terms, this is um, similar to, to when you do an among. Um, so I'm going to do late replenishment for, for sales. Um, and then I'm going to select another value. Um, and then I'm going to do past due, uh, past due sales in this particular case. 
Um, I'm going to leave the planner bl blank. Um, I've defaulted the M1 organization and uh, the plan is the ATP plan. Now, if I run this, it will immediately send it to a fully formatted uh, Excel sheet, um, which is available then to filter and review. And as you see here, we've got uh, our filter on uh, our different uh, exceptions. Uh, you can see the segments uh, involved here um, for the product, and then you can go across and you can see the order number, etc., uh, etc., et and uh, here the number of dates. I've included the value as well, because sometimes value can be quite useful, um, but you can configure this as you prefer. Um, <clears throat> so going back as a, as a user, you would get the ability to um, to tailor your output, but you wouldn't get the ability to create um, uh, to create the actual SQL. This is more for a, for a developer user. Um, <clears throat> so uh, as a user, you've got the ability to create a reporting template, and this is very sim similar to folder uh, technology, whereby you can simply move a column left or right. So from a user perspective, they can organize the columns uh, as they see fit um, and move them up and down. Uh, they can also um, they can schedule this so you could have it so that the output is going to on a daily basis. Uh, you would send the output um, perhaps to, um, you know, you could have it scheduled so that it's running uh, on a daily basis to all the planners and perhaps run it by planner code. Uh, let's just have a look at some of the other sheets that we've got here. So this is the export of supply and demand. Again, you can filter by order type. Uh, you can run it by order type. So, you, you know, you may just want to have planned orders or planned order demand. Um, you've got all of the things that you would expect, uh, you know, using assembly, uh, the suggested due dates, etc. cetera. Uh, you go across and then we've got all the variable lead times, uh, which orgs supplying, which supplier, etc. So, and, and again, you can tailor these. Uh, these are just uh, out of the box available with Blitz, um, Blitz report rather. And you know, this was the exception one we mentioned. And then here's uh, pegging. So you see here we've got our again we've got a planner, we've got a buyer, we've got uh, the pegged quantity, uh, which supply type. Uh, and again, you can run this uh, on an ad hoc basis, or, or you can schedule it and have it emailed uh, through the standard concurrent manager, because they all get, um, because Blitz Report is so tightly integrated, um, they all go through the concurrent manager, which is why you can then continue to operate once uh, this is run. So really, that, that was all I wanted to show you. Um, and so uh, I'm going to create a blog for this, so you can review the blog. Uh, if you want to, to see how this could work for your operation. Uh, so thank you and goodbye.